Hi there, and welcome to the Virgo video. In this video, we're going to be talking all about Virgo. What are they all about? Like, you know, are you dating a Virgo? Are you? Okay. Good luck. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But, um, yeah. So, a Virgo. Um, you know, they are immutable. So, they're going to be able to change. Doesn't mean that they're... Uh, you know, they like discussion. Their, their ruling planet is Mercury, and not the same kind of Mercury as Gemini, okay? Because Gemini is more like the child, okay? So they like to talk and discuss, but that doesn't mean that they are very good at the little itty-bitty details. Like, Gemini is very good at just knowing a lot, a little bit about a lot of stuff, but not necessarily a lot about that one particular thing. Virgos, on the contrary, are really good at the details. They can memorize facts and all these little tidbits of information. They love making lists. That's because of the Mercury. And they're more serious than, than Gemini. They're more uh, concrete. Because Virgo is an Earth sign. So the physicality, the world health specifically because it also rules i didn't really go into all of this with the previous videos but virgo this very much applies and is shown in their character nature more often than not so it's worth mentioning is that they rule over the digestive tract and they are very into health they're very health conscious and because they are mercury like their ruling planet communication They've read books, like, they know what they're talking about. And trust me, they will not hesitate to let you know how many calories are in that burger and why it is not so good for you. Like, they are kind of the critic of the Zodiac. Um, which, if you're Virgo watching this, know that nothing, nothing in this world is perfect. Nothing is perfect. So don't focus on all of the imperfections because where you put your and where you put your attention you put your energy and it expands you know like so there might just be like you know on a shirt one little teeny stain but if you're like freaking out and zooming into it it's gonna really bother you but you should let learn to know that nothing is perfect in this world and to accept that in people, because Virgos tend to have a hard time with that, because they're the critic, right? They are the critic of the Zodiac. And they're very smart, so, like, they're very justified. And, and, you're, and you'd be right, like, 99.9% .9 of the time. You're right in your criticisms. But that doesn't mean that you should express them, you know what I mean? Like... It just, it, it can hurt people. It can bring people down to have all of their flaws pointed out when their flaws and own insecurities are their own problems. They aren't your problems. So don't, don't make it your problem, you know? Because if, if, if you make it your problem, then it, 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 it brings you down. And you're too smart for that, okay? So don't do that. Like, just look in a mirror and realize how awesome you are. You can take your own advice, because you know how right you are. Other people haven't done their research. They haven't taken the time. They aren't as diligent to know those things. And they don't necessarily have that strength of will to implement those health regimens. And, and I mean, I'm patting you on the back and saying that that's awesome that you have that God-given ability. But not everybody does. And not all of your advice will be taken so well. Like, they're going to see it as just you being a nag, you know, bugging them and, and criticizing and, and being negative. And even though you, you don't feel that way. Virgo is like, Virgos love to help. They just want to help you. And, 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 and if you get upset that you're just, they're trying to help you and then you get mad at them, well... Then, then bring it on because they are this. They are ruled by Mercury, the god of communication, and they will tell you about it, and they will let you know how wrong you are, 
in that. But Virgos, come on. Like, as I said, no one is perfect. You can find flaws in everything. But do, do, is that going to make you happy? No. Like, and I will say that Virgo, typically because of this criticizing nature, is one of the least happy signs um, because they have a hard time seeing the perfection in the imperfection and just understanding that imperfections, there can be beauty in that. Like, that's what gives people a sense of individuality. Like, if everyone was just perfect, well, then there'd be no growth. There'd be no room for improvement because we'd already, we'd all be you, Virgo. And there'd We'd have nothing to learn from each other because we just all we'd already all know. But just because someone doesn't know something doesn't make it your job to inform them. Okay? So like I was saying with the burger, if they're in the middle of enjoying their greasy burger, do you really think they want to know how unhealthy that is for them in their moment of enjoying it? Like most people would just find that irritating. And so Remember that, Virgo. And if you're dating a Virgo, remember that they aren't doing it to bother you. And if they are criticizing you or pointing out flaws, it's because they care about you. It's because they love you. And they only point out flaws in, in people that they care about. If they don't give a frick about you, why would they care? They go and eat that greasy burger. But if they care, they won't want to see you hurt. And they're very smart, so they know from books and their vast repertoire of knowledge that they are right and they know how to help you. But just know that not everyone will be appreciative of the advice that the Virgos give, okay? Because not everyone is as smart as you, Virgo. Like, Virgos are very, very smart. They're like the bookworm. They love reading. They're, they... And because they're an earth sign with the ruling with digestion, they're very health conscious. And it's just a part of their nature to be that way. So, you know, like I said in previous videos, life has a, an extreme diversity and beauty in its uniqueness of that diversity. So just because something is a flaw doesn't make it wrong, okay? Because that, that, those imperfections can actually be what makes life so beautiful and worth living. So, yeah. Mwah. I hope that uh, this has taught you something about your Virgo partner. Or if you are a Virgo, I hope it's taught you something about yourself. And, you know, you're a mutable, Virgo's a mutable sign. So they're not so fixed. Meaning, like, they will hear people out if they give a logical, sound reasoning for that. So, I hope that this has helped you in your relationship with your Virgo partner. Mm -hmm. Bye for now. Like, subscribe, and be a part of the Puzzle Master family. <laughs> Bye.